Well, folks, a lot of people are caught shaking around the streets because Activision just confirmed a brand new Call of Duty. Yes, a new year, new Call of Duty game, fellas. Oh, I'm shaking. And they also surprisingly confirmed the fact that this year's game is going to be coming soon. They also say that we're going to be having multiple wars on experiences out there, so maybe more than one map. And we also have the FTC looking into the Activision and Call of Duty deal. And listen, man, this is, this is not my opinion. I'm just a messenger. This is apparently the news out there. And I'm not really too worried because I know that most of you are giga chats but last time we had some non-stud muffins if at any moment you get offended with this news topic because listen we're living in 2077 so it's totally understandable and if you get offended just let us know drop 1 million social credits in the chat i will let the mailman know and he will deliver this device straight to your address and if somehow you need an extra pair maybe for your friends maybe for yourself don't worry just let us know and we will do a free shipping smash the like button for me to take care of you and let's just get right into it we do news videos reaction videos every single day so hit the subscribe bell and and coming in at our number seven spot infinity ward came out and they said that a new generation of call of duty is coming soon and that coming soon part that is a little bit suspect i mean dang homie because we heard from reports that this year's call of duty game is gonna be coming out early because vanguard shies out the bed a lot of people have been catching herpes with that game just like battlefield 2042 a lot of people have been sleeping on that game and uh, even activision says the fact that yo that game is just not making us money and infinity ward says stay frosty i mean Damn, okay, damn! So we're gonna be getting this year's Call of Duty game early. I guess nobody saw that coming, right? And Okami came out and says that rip to my last gen brothers. And quite frankly, though, this game is gonna be on last gen consoles. We heard that from multiple reports, even from the big homie Tom Henderson, that this game is gonna be on last gen consoles. So if you're somebody on the Sony Pony 4 jet engine, maybe you're on the Xbox VCRs or the Xbox VCR, you don't have to worry about it. This game is gonna be on last gen consoles, but it is definitely interesting. This is a new generation, so does that mean new generation of doors? that we're gonna see i've never seen the streets be this optimistic a lot of people are like yo let's get it uh obviously we have the big homie blame truth sleeping around the streets but that's understandable right but you can see uh shout out to the homies for adding me in the situation please save us infinity war that goes to show you a lot of people are really optimistic because the last time i checked like people were catching herpes with that battlefield situation the last three call of duty games have been shiza minus modern warfare modern warfare 2019 was the last good call of duty game minus the campers the skill based matchmaking the doors we're gonna be having doors in this upcoming game game as well boys so don't worry man we got you i mean eh, because apparently activision confirmed during their earnings call they were supposed to do a live stream they canceled but they still release information by saying that development on the call of duty 2022 and warzone experiences for later this year are being led by damn okay damn so multiple experiences my guy my guy can we stop with that warzone situation i get it that warzone is the money maker out there but please man i'm putting my hands together yo infinity war please don't book a kid the multiplayer experience man focus on the multiplayer first and then you can come out with warzone 2 maybe five years later maybe 20 years later maybe like 30 years later i'm just saying that maybe let's actually make the multiplayer great again is that too hard to understand smash the like button if you comprende but you can see a lot of people in the chat shout out to the homie for adding me in the situation lol another call of duty being integrated into warzone and this is the reason why these past call of duty games have been trash they're full of focusing on warzone I think Warzone seriously ruined now with twice as many doors. My god, god damn, okay? Because earlier, a lot of people were really happy. A lot of people were really optimistic. And you can see the streets. I've never seen the streets reverse like this fast. Damn, bro. I've never seen the streets reverse in my 25 years of being on this planet, okay? Damn. The sequel, however, is reportedly titled Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 will feature a new game mode similar to Escape from Tarkov called DMZ. And this has been reported by Tom Henderson and VGC, something that we know for a while. Also, Bobby, 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 and Bobby, okay? Bobby Kotick came out and says that as we look to the future with Microsoft scale and resources, we will be better equipped to grow existing franchises, launch new potential franchises, and unlock the rich library of games we have a over 40 years damn man this is all because phil spencer recently came out and he said that he's looking to revive older franchises from his childhood that he loved and that people loved and i think that's a really good thing because bobby Kotick don't want that right he just want to make money okay but obviously he's gonna be getting his golden parachute as the homie young yeah would say he's gonna be getting that golden parachute he's gonna be pressing x and he's gonna be a 
escaping the Activision saga and the, the headquarters after June of 2023 with this golden parachute buckles and also they say this our teams are executing against an exciting pipeline of content planned for 2022 Activision expects to drive renewed expansion in the Call of Duty franchise later in the year with groundbreaking all new experiences that is a little bit wild so what's this renewed expansion well I know some people would be catching PTSD from the Modern Warfare 2 remaster single player they released are they talking about Modern Warfare 3 campaign remaster are they talking about the multiplayer remaster I'm not sure okay but they also say a new game uh, with groundbreaking all new experiences so plural so maybe like a new Warzone map new Call of Duty game maybe a remaster on the sidelines but releasing a remaster just don't make sense I feel like that they're talking about releasing Warzone for mobile okay because that's where the money's at sadly but listen man now we're gonna be diving into that delicate topic and if at any moment you're not able to cope just let me know we're gonna send you this device free of charge and listen man i'm not talking about you okay not talking about you i'm talking about that guy that non-stud muffin listen man if a non-stud muffin get offended i'm gonna do everything i can to actually calm the homie down okay but this is news this is not my opinion okay i'm just the messenger but the ftc has reportedly stepped in to review microsoft's Activision Blizzard deal damn in a break from tradition the review will not be handled by the Justice Department this has been reported by Bloomberg and the FTC will now investigate the deal to determine whether the takeover of the publishing giant uh, aka Microsoft constitutes unfair competition I'm not the one saying that okay according to a person speaking to the organization anonymously Damn, okay, damn! And then the article says that Microsoft declined to comment about the review. The reason they're looking to do this is because of competition. Apparently, uh, and I quote, competition law seeks to maintain market competition by regulating anti-competitive conduct by companies. And uh, and I quote, will this deal go through? Question mark. Regulators will take a close look and franchises like Call of Duty may not be exclusive to Xbox platform because of antitrust concerns. And the big homie Tom Henderson chimed in. And first of all, I gotta say it is good news that Call of Duty is gonna stay on multiple platforms this is not a Sony pony talking this is not an Xbox talking if more people can play it, that's gonna be way better instead of dividing people if that makes sense but I know some of you will be like yo wow schizzle wow okay if Sony did that they will be keeping it exclusive and listen I'm not saying that they wouldn't okay they most likely would have <laughs> knowing the history and Tom Henderson followed it by saying that the US Federal Trade Commission will be handling an antitrust review of Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard it's unclear what this means but the FTC sued to block damn man I was not aware of that so the FTC sued to block Nvidia's acquisition of chip manufacturer arm which was a 40 billion dollar deal yo can a brother perhaps get like a 1 million or something yo god damn okay due to an unfair competitive advantage bad take market conditions are incredibly different it's not even a take it's literally the news <laughs> listen man this is seriously the news but at the end of the day man i don't see ftc blocking the deal that's my personal opinion obviously but let me know how a stud muffin like you feel on the situation and if you're a non-stud muffin i would still love to know your thoughts i would love to know your thoughts but click on this video on the screen and i will see you right there just click it man you're gonna 